right, how we doing, folks? It is your boy Marcos. We are rocking this uprising review type informal gathering uh, of thoughts and opinions on these new maps. And we are on Vertigo, day three of this. Tomorrow we got Magma, and it is a wrap. And I'm just going to give you a heads up, man. I'm not a big fan of Magma. Anyway, Vertigo right here, Mr. Sniper. No, sir. Say hello to the C4. Thank you. And I heard this guy right here, whatever he said, game away. My apologies. So, early impressions on Vertigo. I'm rolling with my man Christian. Rolling with my man who's signing right here. Early impressions on Vertigo. I like it, but I can see this map being a big pain in the ass. Kayla wants me to go play. Come on, man. I'm right in the game, bro. A lot of head glitches everywhere. And there's a lot of head glitches in, in all these um, in all these maps in Black Ops 2. But this one... I mean, look at this whole right side over here. You just go from head glitch to head glitch to head glitch to another head glitch. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm not the biggest fan of that. Um, but I understand. It's part of the game. It's how you play the game. It's playing smart, you know, going in from cover to cover. You don't want to be walking around in the wide open. Yeah, okay. Get one right there. Come out. Uh, one thing I should probably do with this uh, this Type 25 is maybe put a set of mag on it. Guys over there in the corner. Thank you, Christian, for taking care of that, man. And there we go. This guy comes in and pops me. Thank you, Jay Money. Uh, I like the map. I like uh, the uh, the colors on it. I like the colors on all these maps. Very colorful maps. I really enjoy that. That's one thing I really enjoy the most Treyarch games. Uh, the colors. You know, I feel the Modern Warfare games kind of use the same, just depressed palette. I feel like the palette's literally called, like, depressed colors. And then they just, like, splat them all over the place. Because it's just sad looking at some of those maps. And it's crazy because the graphics are good. And, the maps had some colors on it, you know, it'd be better, but everyone's got their own style, I feel, you know, it's the feel of the game, you don't want to mess it up, it's the own flow, every producer, every director has his own, uh, his own way of doing things, unfortunately, I turned that over there and just got annihilated, my man Baby Powder, that guy was a, it's a pain in my ass, this game, throw the EMP out there, uh, it's really difficult in terms of throwing stuff out there, uh, I thought it would clear most buildings, but it doesn't, now check this out right here, I was very proud of this. It shows you on the trailer how you can jump from one thing to another. I got really lucky. He was confused. He had no idea what was going on. I don't blame him. I wasn't sure I was actually going to be able to like pull that off or not. But it worked. Woo! Uh, I think this is my second time on Vertigo played through this. Uh, I'm using the Type 25 against Suppressed. Because similar to, the, to all the maps on this, I feel there's some pretty good lines of sight. Uh, long lines of sight that are playing. Now, I was also thinking about this. You know, it might just be... Uh, the fact that people are a little more reluctant to push up right now in the beginning. Uh, people are more about just staying put. Uh, check this out there. I get the one and then the second guy spawned in there. My fault, man. Uh, so it might be a factor of that. Why uh, why I'm able to get so many from along this. I'm not seeing so many people rush up in there. is because people don't really know where to rush up to. Check out this border right here. I run in here. I'm like, hold up. How, how do I get out of here? Is, there's not an exit? Yeah, there is. There we go. Pretty cool boardroom, though. Uh, kind of useless spot, but pretty good boardroom. Kilo managed to put up that V set. Thank you. Thank you for joining the game, Kilo. I appreciate that. So looking over here, what happened? This guy died. I'm just gonna give him the package. No point. In, no point in trying to trying to go after him or anything. Just deliver the package, and there we go. Take the tag and see if he comes out for any bullets. Don't have any more C4, so gotta look down this little head glitch right here. Head glitch on head glitch action right here. This guy just decided to pop out of the open. No sir, looking at my ammo. I got 20 bullets. He flashes me. I need to do a little bit better than that. And then give this guy the turn. Mm -mm -mm. Very easy though when you got a V-set. But nonetheless, still very impressed about that. Um, but maybe that's why people are, you know, are being a little bit reluctant to push up. Because they don't really know where to push up. Or they don't really know where the spawns are. Uh, so maybe you know, due time, some machine guns will become king on these maps as well. Um, but I feel you can really sneak out of here with a Type 25 or A94. You know, with one of these automatic firing. Uh, this guy right here, He's putting the moves on me, putting the moves on me. I think you can really sneak out and do some serious damage uh, with these kind of weapons right here. And it keeps you the suppressed action going, which I think is a plus, especially in these early goings through these maps. Uh, a lot of UAVs going up because people don't really know where people are. I got a UAV running just to make sure that you know I know where people are. Now, luckily, we managed to get the uh, managed to get the VSATs rolling, so the UAV uh, UAV isn't that that big of an issue. Uh, but uh, either way, I like to have the UAV on, especially playing through these maps uh, the first few times. Just, hey, hell, I don't know where the hell people are. I, I got to find them. I need every advantage I can get to find these people. 
Uh, so throw up another V-set right here, there, and there we go. Uh, but a lot of aside, a lot of head glitches over here. <laughs> the host migration, man. I don't blame them, though, man. Swarms and stuff flying in the sky, and I think there's a load star coming up, too. Poor fellas. It's life, though. It's, it's life in Black Ops 2. All right, there we go. Headed it out that host migration. My apologies. Uh, so the inside of the building. Uh, the inside is really interesting. There's, there's a couple Apparently doors coming in from everywhere. Down. There's people everywhere. Now with the V-Set, it gives you that advantage right there. Like I just had right there to pre-shoot that, man. Uh, but without the V-Set, yeah, man. I don't know about this inside part. This inside part is tough. I'm scared over here. I didn't notice this was knife, dude. I'm an idiot. And I just let him go right down there and knife me. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing to me, to my loved ones, to my family, to my subscribers, to my fans. That's part of life. This guy's coming over there. Uh, this is one of the major spawn points right here. And the other one seems to be uh, on the flip side over there where like the plants are on that side and whatnot. Now this guy's really good though. So I didn't mean to just start laughing right here because he decides to just jump off the map instead of getting hit with the load star. I'm over there looking at like, hold up. I told him, I was like, maybe there's like some sort of platform we missed or something. Maybe there's something. And he's like, nah, nah, man. Mistakes were made. I'm like, oh, man. Mistakes were made. Don't do it. Please don't do it. One of us goes in and we all go through it. All right, so we get one. We get two right there. Thank you. Um, I think it's a little bit of an aberration because you know, we're, we're, we're dominating these guys, so we're able to run in uh, uh, inside the spawn normally. Time, I think most of your gunfights are going to take place inside the building um, and uh, over there to the uh, to the right side of me right now, uh, where kind of that outskirts of the part. I think those are for kill confirm specifically. Uh, in terms of objective gameplay, there's no objective really on that right side. I, I think there's not. I think Dom, there's any objectives on that right side, so it's kind of useless to decide what I'm going on right now. Um, but in terms of team deathmatch, in terms of uh, of kill confirm, I think it's going to be a very popular side right here, uh, especially with snipers. I think it's going to be a lot of sniping going on over here, moving from head glitch to head glitch is a pretty good spot for that. This guy almost popped me right there with the SMR. No, thank you, my friend. And uh, these buildings right here are pretty popular. This side and the other side because they allow people to get in cover from when they spawn over here. So be aware of that. Um, aside from that, though, I'd probably give this map a... Yeah, I'd give it like a 7.5 and 8 out of 10. Uh, it's a good map. It's fun. I think it's got a, a decent amount of long range to short range engagements. Um, but even short range, like the, the short range engagements you can find inside uh, the building aren't really that short compared to other short range engagements in other maps you know uh hijack your short range game is a pretty damn short you know the cabana that's short uh like the catwalk's like the biggest like engagement and look at this from one side to the other side of this there's a fair amount of distance right there uh with the patches that they've done the pdw to the to some machine guns you're gonna have some more recoil going on over there you're gonna have a tough time get one dude hit one dude from one side to the other side uh, on this map so i suggest type 25 with a suppressor or you know a assault rifle that you feel comfortable enough with to roll with with minimal recoil and go ahead and clap them over there um i enjoy the suppressor over there like i said at the beginning uh you know it gives you uh gives you extra cover especially with the type 25 i really use it particularly uh because it helps out with the recoil man aside from being off on the map it really helps out with the recoil man to get this guy out to c4 for the final kill thank you very much so yeah, 7.5 out of uh, out of 10. I'll probably get this bad boy right here. Uh, I'm gonna watch this kill over here uh, again. Unfortunately, I didn't have DMP. I think Gila said, but hey, gotta be safe to sorry. And I'm gonna just play around the corner right there, give him the package. Uh, tomorrow, magma. It ain't gonna be pretty. I can tell you that right now. 35-7, pretty good gameplay. Hope you're enjoying the series, man.